Mm. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you will find a former idiot answering your questions to help you either avoid or get over your idiocy. Now, I was thinking, you know, Fridays, Friday's a little more fun, get ready for the weekend, so I thought maybe we would make it a little lighter today, maybe something where we lighten it up on Fridays, play around with some uh, some different, different types of, of questions. Keep the serious stuff for for Mondays and Wednesdays. I don't know. We'll see. So today's question is uh, unfortunately asked of me because I have some experience in the uh, United States penal system, unfortunately, because I was a former idiot, as I tell you at the beginning of every show. So the question is, if somebody had studied MMA, mixed martial arts, for two years, would they survive in prison? Well, it's kind of a, this isn't the greatest question in the world because I didn't study MMA for two years and I survived in prison. So I think that, I think the line of thinking is if you can really fight, you know, is that going to benefit you in prison? And I think it can and it can't. I think as far as being confident in your physical ability, like there were plenty of situations that I got into where, where if I had, been second guessing my abilities or if I couldn't end a situation real quick with maybe a quick you know a quick hit quick you know pop in the throat something something to just kind of kind of break up the tension that if I couldn't do that that there could have been other issues there you know there are guys that get picked on um it's actually kind of like high school it's kind of it's 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 surprising how immature it is but then there's a bunch of people that found themselves in prison so there's a, there's a maturity, there's definitely a maturity level there. Um, there were surprisingly not many people that I saw could fight very well in prison. And I obviously wasn't in there all that long. And there's some, there's some, I'm sure there's some pretty badass dudes. But what I noticed more was that these guys were just freaking tough as hell. So they may not be able to fight. Like I saw the, uh, the worst fights, like so ugly, but these dudes would fight for a long ass time and fight really freaking hard and it was ugly but there's some tough ass dudes in there so I think that's really the bigger issue as far as the UFC fighting you know if you trained as fighting whatever that you know I mean it's it's cool if it's one-on-one or one-on-two but if you're out picking fights because you can because you trained in MMA you're gonna get killed at some point you're going to get jumped. There's going to be too many people. There's so so you broadcasting the fact that you're trained in MMA or you can fight or do whatever is probably not the smartest thing to do because you're just going to get somebody that wants to one-up you. You're going to get somebody that wants to test you. They wants to see how tough you really are because you're walking around testing people. There's a couple guys that talked about MMA training and you know, what take it for what, for what it was. They either they either did or they didn't, I don't know. But there was one guy that would actively practice MMA strategies and tactics and stuff uh, on the yard. He would get the kick bag out, big, big punching bag, and he would do kicks and spin kicks and punches and this and all this stuff. And then one morning in the kitchen, he got into a fight over because he didn't get an extra piece of French toast. So that's the kind of shit people fight over in there. So he didn't get his extra piece of French toast. He got pissed off. The guy handed out the French toast. What the hell? Or, you know, what the F? They started fighting. And uh, he got the crap kicked out of him, and it wasn't even—it wasn't because the other guy could fight. It's just this guy could fight. It was so bad. I mean, his his fights were like his his punches were like he's sitting there and he had these huge like haymakers and stuff, and he would like telegraph like every punch. So he's trying to hit the guy like this, and every time he's doing these big ass swings, the dude's just sitting there just like just dinking in his face and just popping him in the face. And that dude looked like he got hit by a freaking bus after the fight. I should also mention that this was a pretty funny fight because. So in the chow hall, you know, you have all the chairs. It's like a cafeteria. You've been in a cafeteria, even if you haven't been to prison. So you've been in a cafeteria where you, you know, they have the, the, the chow hall where everybody sits and then they have, you know, the line where they serve the food and then they have, you know, where they cook the food. And then in the back they have where they wash the food. So this, wash the food, not wash the food, wash the dishes. 
So these guys are in the back. This is at the very end of the shift. So the whole floor in in the scullery. So the whole floor in the scullery is uh, is wet. And not only is it wet, it's soapy. So it's hell. So it's super slippery. So these two dudes are fighting each other, falling in the water. And I mean, it was like it was funny, but that guy got his ass kicked and stuff. I mean, it was like his came back and he looked like the freaking. Uh, Look like freaking elephant man with his swollen this and I mean he was just he was a mess. He was a man about it though. It was pretty cool. I mean he he uh he went obviously to the doctor to get everything checked out. And when he came out, he went right up to the guy and just said, "Look, you know, I was being stupid. You beat the sh- beat the shit out of me. Congratulations." So it was kind of I mean it was kind of cool in that way, but we never saw him training MMA style in the yard ever again. He kind of abandoned that because everybody knew that he couldn't fight for shit. Even if you take somebody like, you know, you take like a Mike Tyson, take uh, um, some of these MMA guys that do actually do go to prison. They're going to get into some fights. You take like an Aaron Hernandez. That's a perfect example. Take an Aaron Hernandez. They're going to be dudes that test him and he's going to test people and he'll probably get stabbed a couple times and this and that because people are testing you. So my advice, no matter how long you've studied whatever, whatever, um, combat technique is is just keep a low profile because there's only one of you so you may be able to fight your ass off but there's only one of you and at some point you know you may be able to fight like i said you may be able to fight one person or two people or whatever but you're going to get to the point where you get jumped and once you're jumped you're done it doesn't matter how much you can fight so i would keep it under wraps keep it in your back pocket until uh till you have to until you have to step up and you know get somebody to calm down quickly by you know like I said, a little quick pop in the face, a little pop in the throat, just something to let them know that you can handle yourself and you're not scared. There's, I think that's the most important piece because if you go in scared, people can see it and people will take advantage of it. But if you walk in there with your head high that you know you can handle your business, you're really not going to get messed with unless you're messing with you know, the drug trade or you're messing with the trannies or you're messing with, uh, messing with people's food. So as long as you don't do that, you're not going to get, you're not going to necessarily get singled out um so i wouldn't go broadcasting the fact that you can fight so take it for what it is you can train if you're going to prison and you feel like you need to train in mma go ahead but it you know in the certain situations it's not going to matter anyways and no matter what if you can fight you're going to get pepper sprayed as soon as you get caught fighting so there's that too and make it even worse depending on how long your sentence is every fight you get into is an extra 90 days and you know if you get written up you get an extra 90 days like do is it really worth fighting that guy over a freaking 25 cent soup for three months of your life probably not those are kind of things you got to think about if you're a lifer yeah whatever fight over the soup who cares um so it was kind of fun being able to answer something a little different if you're looking for kind of some random questions or whatever i would be happy to answer them um I haven't gotten many sports questions yet, so I'm looking for some sports questions if you got them. Um, if you do, you know where to find me. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on Twitter. You can leave a post in the comments here. Obviously, the comments on the bottom of the videos have not been too popular yet, but the Snapchat thing is working really well. So if you have not found me on Snapchat yet, that seems to be the most popular route to go. And you can kind of follow me around and see other stuff I'm doing besides just the clips at the beginning and the end of, of these movies. So... Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you on Monday. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go ahead, go, go.